All right, hey there, home athletes. Happy Saturday. Hope you're having a good weekend so far. So, as I think I mentioned in the video the other day, we are doing, uh, or we're in the process of going through the CrossFit Open right now. Um, we're doing this big, you know, workout every Friday, which we don't know what it is, leading up until until Thursday afternoon when they announce it. So, to that end, anyway, the point I'm trying to get to is that for this Saturday and the next couple Saturdays, we're going to be very simple cardio workouts, which for you at home boils down to some running. So, get your running shoes. Hopefully the weather stays nice for tomorrow. I don't know what the forecast is. It's beautiful right now on Friday when I'm recording this, so hopefully you have a nice day tomorrow for your runs. So, format today, we're doing five, that's right, five 800 meter runs. And you're going to rest for exactly two minutes after each run before moving on to the next one. There you go. The entire workout is done for time, right? So five rounds, or five runs, I should say, two minute rest. Your score today, if you will, is the time it takes you to do that entire thing, including those rests, not just to run. So it's run, rest, run, rest, the entire thing. Um, so what are we talking about today? So we're looking for, we're not just looking for speed, we're also looking for consistency on those runs. So I would say your first run, and this is the same rule that applies to other workouts where we're doing multiple rounds. We want the first rounds to be done at a similar pace to like the last couple rounds as well. We're doing like so, like think about what round four is going to, like your run number four is going to feel like today. Think about that when you're doing run number one, right? When you're feeling all fresh, you go flying out of the gate too hard, too fast, you blow yourself up, and things kind of you know suffer after that. Get slower and slower and slower. Ideally, our fastest run today's and our slowest run should be relatively close in time. You know, maybe. I don't know, maybe 15 to 30 seconds apart. It really shouldn't be that big a difference between the runs. Um, so 800 meter run is, you know, it's about half a mile, right? Give or take a little bit. Um, depends on your capacity for running. You know, this might take you anywhere from three something minutes to four something minutes, maybe as long as five, depending on what your mile time is and how quickly you can run. But again, so the idea is to kind of push the pace for each run but, as I have said, keep it consistent across the five runs that you do. So relatively um, consistent pace across the five. There you go. Um, so, quick tips. You know I'm a big fan of the lean and pull. So when you run, as always, we want to use our body weight to pull ourselves forward. Like, let's put gravity on our side as opposed to working against gravity. So we lean into it and let our body weight pull ourselves forward. Lean from the hips, not just from the upper body. Right, think about those hips just kind of coming forward, and you can just feel your body pulling you into that run. Right, so we're kind of it's almost like a lot of people describe this as a controlled fall. Right, so the whole time you're running, you're basically just kind of falling forward and controlling it so you don't fall on your face. So use your body weight, use gravity to your advantage to pull you forward. And then the other part is the pull, pulling those heels directly up underneath the hips so that we run. You know, this is kind of mimics uh, the wheel, if you will. It's kind of like your, your, your foot is on a wheel going up and uh, around underneath the body. This makes for very low impact running. And it prevents us from having the foot out front and landing on those heels and doing the dreaded heel strike. So we're just kind of basically staying nice and light on the feet, particularly the balls of the feet mostly. And uh, yeah, nice and light, lean into it, and off you go. You'll get those runs done in no time. Other things to think about, a couple tips here, keeping our hands and our feet relaxed, right? We want to kind of, the middle part of our body, we want to keep our, our ab braced, right? We don't want to get all kind of loose here. We actually want to maintain some tension in the abs. It's going to help us kind of stay more upright, better posture, makes for better breathing. But our extremities, particularly our hands and our feet, should stay nice and relaxed, right? Keep your hands relaxed. Don't make a fist, don't squeeze them up, because this leads to tension throughout the arm, throughout the shoulders. And then the torso affects our breathing, so keep those hands nice and relaxed. And same thing with the feet. If we tense our feet, we tend to not kind of land as well. Um, it's a little harder on our joints. So keeping the, the, the toes spread and the feet nice and relaxed as we run is very beneficial. And what was the other thing? Oh yeah, breathing. So very important when you run to find a nice steady rhythm to breathe to, right? So you can match it up to your feet, you can match it up to whatever, find something that works for you. I generally recommend trying like a two second in and a two second out kind of inhale, exhale thing, two seconds, two seconds, two 
few seconds. It doesn't have to be exactly two seconds. It can be surely, surely longer, shorter. Find something that works for you. Um, you know, I know some people like to, like to breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, exhale, breathe in, breathe in, exhale, or something like that. Find a rhythm when you're warming up today that you can breathe to, or that you can run to, I should say. So that as you go, you're always in control of your breathing. Because if you've, if you've ever been in a workout before where you kind of lose control of your breathing and you get a little panicky, generally doesn't uh, bode too well for the rest of the workout. So if we can kind of stay in control, we kind of get to that sort of like, you know, just under that sort of imaginary red line, right, where we can kind of maintain that intensity without kind of like losing control, going past that red line and having to like stop it and losing everything. So breathing is very important in this. It kind of helps you stay keep calm. It obviously keeps the, the air coming in, the carbon dioxide going out. So rhythmic breathing while you're running. Relaxed hands, relaxed feet, and lean and pull. All right, have a good workout, guys. That's all I got for you today. I'll be back on Monday. Have a great weekend.